Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the changes that Microsoft is making available on Windows 11 build 26120.3380 and the dev and beta channels. Okay, let's dive right into the changes for this preview of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. You can also visit my website for more tutorials and tech news. Now, starting with this release, Windows 11 adds the ability to show a snap group, as you can see right here with the two apps that the system thinks you're likely to snap together and that's going to appear under the recommend section of the start menu i have to show you a screenshot because on my computer i don't have that feature yet now for this next feature i switch momentarily to another computer that is actually enrolled in the beta channel that has the same build and this actually includes the changes for File Explorer. And as you can see now on the homepage for the File Explorer app, we're going to have a new recommended section that will show recent files from your computer and for those files located in the cloud. You're also going to see recent downloads and images that you recently added to the gallery section. And you're going to see them on a carousel with thumbnails, as you can see right here. This feature is available for devices using the personal Microsoft account, users with work and school accounts will also have this feature but they will also have different recommendations now it is important to know that when you have this feature enabled you're not going to see the quick access tab and if you want to disable the feature you just need to go to folder options and right here on the general tab you have to clear the show recommended section you can also clear this and as you can see now we have quick access one more time now it is important to note that for File Explorer, Microsoft is also adding text scan and support using the text size settings from the settings app for the open, save, and wizard dialog boxes. Now, if we go to the settings app, actually more specifically to the taskbar settings on this particular release and the beta and that channels, Microsoft is now adding a new option, as you can see right here, called emoji and more that allows you to enable or control how you want the emoji button to appear in the system tray. So, so if you want to enable that feature, you just need to select the always option and as you can see, now it's going to show a button to access the emoji panel. That is in addition to using the keyboard shortcut. Now you can also use the while typing and as the name implies, when you select the option, the button is not going to appear in the system tray. However, if you open an app that you're going to do typing, for example, notepad, as soon as you open the app, you're going to see that the button is going to appear on the system tray. Now, as part of the notification system, you will now receive a toast notification, as you can see right here, to remind you that your account needs a secondary email address or a phone number for recovery. This notification will only appear on devices using a Microsoft account and if the information is missing. And finally, on the About page for the Settings app, Microsoft is also working on adding a new feature called Top Cards, and as you can see right here, it shows the key components from your computer, including storage, graphics, installed RAM, and information about the processor. What's interesting on this view is that now we get some information about the graphics card. For the longest time on Windows 11 and the settings app never included information about the graphics card when we want to see the, the tech specifications for a specific computer. And that's it. Those are the most significant changes that we're going to see on bill 26120. That 3380 for Windows 11 in the beta and the channels. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.